Hello and welcome to The Federal. My name is Shreyas. Actor Prabhas's film tentatively titled Project K earlier made history when the first look poster and glimpse were shared at the prestigious Hall H at the Comic Con Festival in San Diego. The big budget multi starer has aroused the curiosity of audiences with its distinct storyline inspired by the Mahabharata and Star Wars. And the film has got a new title too. Here's the story. Bahubali made sure Telugu cinema or South Indian cinema penetrated India's Hindi belt. Now, Prabhas's next film is aiming at capturing audiences worldwide. After Salar, Prabhas is now focusing on his next film, which was earlier tentatively titled Project K. The makers launched the first poster and glimpse of the film at the Comic Con Festival in San Diego. It was a historic moment for Indian cinema as it was the first time an Indian film made its debut at the All H at San Diego Comic Con Festival. As per reports, the alphabet H in the panel room is for Hollywood and a South Indian movie made its debut there. It's a prestigious stage and some of the other films that made its debut at Hall H are Iron Man and Star Wars. The first glimpse shows people being oppressed and abused by evil forces until Prabhas comes in as the savior. When the world is taken over by darkness, a hero rises and that hero is Kalki. Yes. The film has been renamed as Kalki 2898 AD. As the title suggests, the film is a futuristic, mythological, sci-fi epic. The glimpse shows Deepika Padukone as an army recruit for the evil forces. The star-studded cast also boasts Amitabh Bachchan, but his face is covered with something like a bandage, so it's hard to make out his character. Finally, this Prabhas, who uses his power advanced technology and is ready to wage a war against the dark forces. Prabhas and Kamal Hassan launched the teaser. However, Hassan's character is missing in the first glimpse. Deepika could not attend the event as she is part of the Screen Actors Guild and American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, which is currently on a strike. She had joined the union when she acted in the film Triple X, written of the Xander Cage, opposite Vin Diesel. The union has asked actors to stay away from promotional activities. Bachchan joined the launch of the first glimpse through a live video call. As per reports, the film is being made on a budget of 600 crores and also stars Disha Patani, Dilkar Salman and Rana Dagubati among others besides Prabhas, Deepika, Bachchan and Hasan. It is directed by Nag Ashwin who delivered the blockbuster film Mahanati based on yesteryear actress Savitri. The producers of Mahanati, Vijayanti Movies are producing this big budget film. Nagashwin had directed one of the stories in the anthology Pitta Kathalu and his segment was titled It's Life. It's Life is set in a dystopian, technology driven world led by a young geek who refuses to believe that his virtual reality company is slowly destroying love in the real world. Pitta Kathalu was the first original Telugu film on Netflix and Nag Ashwin's X-Life was set to be an expensive segment in the anthology. The technical team had worked hard to take viewers into a world of virtual reality and even though it was beyond imagination, they made it look believable. So Nag Ashwin had worked on advanced technology and futuristic stories before taking on Kalki 2898 AD. Nag Ashwin has revealed that the film was inspired by both the Mahabharata and Star Wars. He has claimed that he wanted to present a fusion of these two worlds and present it to the global audience. The title Kalki 2898 AD goes well with the film's storyline as Kalki is said to be the final avatar of Lord Vishnu in Hindu mythology. Kalki is set to descend on earth at the end of the present times called the Kali Yuga and end the oppression of people and start a new age. The first glimpse has a lot going for the makers as it has generated a lot of curiosity among the audience.
However, the makers had received a lot of flack for the first look post of the film they had released earlier. Many on social media trolled them for releasing an incomplete and unrealistic poster. The makers deleted the poster from their official handles and replaced it with a new one with some changes in the background. Now, it looks like the first glimpse has made up for the flaws in the initial poster. Reports suggest the film was supposed to release on January 12, 2024 during Shankranti festival. However, the first glimpse doesn't mention the release date and says only 2024, which means there might be a delay in the release. The film has created history by becoming the first Indian film to feature at the international event. And if all goes well, it could turn out to be India's first global film. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.